Alright, welcome back to T90 Titans League Season 2. Got a Gold League match here between Vivi and Samara, game number two in their best of three. So we got Vivi here, spawning the red trunks on the Gundians. Nice cavalry sieve. Ecotex available on age earlier as well. Cheaper stables techs. Samero, opponent today. Yellow Trunks, Bengalis, one of the new Indian sieves. Newer than Burgundians, I believe. Town centers. Spawn two extra vills when you age up, so that'll be really nice for his uh, eco. Going into Feudal and Castle Age. Otherwise, stronger monks, access to Rathas. Oh, one in ten villages doesn't actually take up population space. So we're here, and we are on Fortress. So our players are playing a regicide game. They're going to try and kill the enemy king. Which will actually be used to using to try and scout out at this stage. Otherwise, they lose them. It's game over. Eno. Even Garrison. Low scouts. They heal them up. Castle or the towers. And unfortunate for Vivi, he's got this dump tower at the back here. So, uh, well, Samiros is actually protecting his gold, so that's sort of good. You just don't really want a tower like right there, like what Vivi's got. It's just not really as useful potentially. I think the towers are dictated by where the resources spawn, which might vary a little bit, but the towers are more or less just gonna shadow them. So it's a bit like Arena, except with less wood on the map, so players are actually encouraged to leave their bases eventually. You haven't just got an infinite amount of wood at the back of your base. Um, so, you know, by the time you're going to Imperial, you've You've actually got to expand outside your walls, beyond, backwards into the map in this little corridor that no one else can get to anyway. So it shouldn't be as much of a ultra late game, vululuu, vululuu fest, of just absolute rubbish, where it's just monks and siege. But even still, players are going to be pretty safe to basically beeline towards uh, Castle Age the most part you probably will see monks cavalry and siege and players will have to get to imp in order to really seal the deal probably on a map like this it's not like arabia or serengeti or something like that which is Quite open, you know, you got all these free walls and the free castle. So blacksmith and market going down straight away. For Samero, he wants to go straight to Castle Age it seems, and Vivi doing the same thing. Impact our players. Not gonna be far off it, Vivi especially. Players 
Both aging up now. King. Needs to be careful with that. The Samaro's extra golds are all sort of at the front side of his base. Or Vivi's sort of spaced out, and then the sort of two neutral-ish golds basically. Well, this one sort of deep in the corner wall this one probably a bit easier to try and castle so I think Samero it's ultimately going to be easier to lock down on golds like Vivi you'd have to castle here here and over here whereas with Samero really you've just got to plonk one right here and right here Vivi would have to and that'd be it you could really starve his opponent out for late game gold quite easily Saying that if you did put a castle there, you cut out stone and gold access. Monastery going down for Vivi. Just part of his wall off. <laughs> Pretty much the same health pool for it, so. Very sightless armor against. You know. I think that's melee or range, maybe. And monk production already for Vivi. Samero monastery already as well. But it's a bit more safely placed. A bit harder to tell where it is. Not that it's going to make a difference, I think, because obviously Vivi will be expecting his opponent to try go for fast relics. Snatching up the central relic. Samero going to snatch up this one at the side. The relics also, I think, favour Vivi because it's going to have an easier time getting a hold of these two. This one's sort of neutral. So I think Samero will end up down two to three on relics ultimately. Vivi prepared to support his monk. Way to grab the relic. <laughs> Scouts meet in glorious combat. Samaro's is slightly faster on it, I think? No. Pretty much dead even there. Maybe you're gonna grab this relic. And. Neither player knows about the last relic, eh? So it'd be two to two for relics. Vippies will actually be a little bit more dangerously positioned there. Now the gold generation in AoE 2 is not quite as good as it is in AoE 4. Like, it's 100 per minute and then you can get an upgrade to get an extra 30 wood food and stone as well per relic whereas in AoE 2 I believe it's only 33 gold a minute no 30 gold a minute gold every two seconds so with both players having two relics you know it's just a gold every second and Vivi well, I was able to catch Samaro's relic monk, but looks like it'd be safe to escort him through. Take the rear entrance. Castilia being converted there. So these guys have a shield, a health shield that regenerates. I want to call it energy shield, but then that's not very fitting. Have a quick 
look at the Castilia. Let's take a tree. Why does it actually list them? Uh, yeah. Doesn't really say anything about the shield. Anyway, we'll get back to the game. So, Samaro up on villages slightly, going up to 4TC Vivi, going up to 3, no, 4 as well. Only slightly slower than Samaro. Both have players going to be able to boom all the way up to a nice 120, 140 eco pop. And then look at turning it into a bit of aggression, but he's already ready to at least maybe get a ram or an, a manganel out. Ready himself to get some bombards, upgraded rams. Wrath of production starting. So these guys have both attacks from ranged and melee, depending on the opponent. Monks, he converts off. There's only a single one actually. There we go, a second convert. Oh no. I don't think there was any converts landed there. It's very rough for Samaro. actually having a better time of conversions here. He's found a way through the gates at the moment. Samero take a little bit of damage here. There's the garrison. Slow down this gathering a little bit. We can drop a couple of villages here to the uh, Castilias. And he's sort of relying on Garrison to get him through this, which is not great. You're gonna go all the way up to a fifth town center. getting picked off. This is not great for Samero right now. You really probably needed to have a pair of Rathas in to support those monks there. Because Castilia is just focused down the monks. Right now Vivi is pulling ahead a little bit, but Samero village count is only down by seven, so doing too badly, he has taken a couple of hits, not doing well in terms of the actual fights, but economically he's bouncing back absolutely fine here. The village is going to chase those Castilia a little bit. Finally go down. It's yeah. really worried about them getting converted. I don't think I saw enough villages actually there to kill them. So a castle attempt here by Samara. Might 
be denied. He does still have all those villagers garrisoned, so if he can pick off the Manganel here, he's going to get it finished. Maybe he's going to have to bring a lot more villagers to get his castle finished. But now he's definitely got all the map control. Applying a lot of pressure, denying Samero any gold over here. He's going to have to try and get on this gold mine eventually. Still got a little bit of gold there. But Vivi, backing off on that castle, he's going to get one a little bit further back. Smeros had a fight go his way for the first time in a little while. Staying a little bit there. Now the second castle is going to get finished up. Battery ram production. So just to take a bit of attention, a bit of heat off the uh, castle. I think one of those actually got microed in there. Nice garrison. There from Samero. Vivi's gonna stack up another castle right next to this one. But Samero gonna be able to hold on to the other gold mine. So he he will drop a couple of villages to the castle. Players up to 140. Eco pop at the moment. Samaro securing another gold mine. He might actually be doing all right here in terms of the golds. He's managed to secure two out of three for the time being. So now, players in Imperial, so. Start seeing trebuchets on the way. Could be very daring with that trebuchet. Able to get it out somehow. Here he's even in terms of uh, pop, but he's slightly up in terms of vil pop so for the first time in the game. But just leaving him some shy in terms of the military size. If he gets a castle but loses one in response. Samaro's so starting castles now in a bit of strife, and he. Numbered in terms of the trebuchet count, but the wrap count is pretty great. But GG, Samaro taps out.